What's up everybody? ID84 here. And today we are gonna explore a little league ballpark. A ballpark that my hometown in Revere, Massachusetts. A ballpark that at one time was one of the coolest little league ballparks one could play in. And today it's left to ruins. Shut down and pretty much left to fall apart. Today's adventure takes us to my hometown of Revere, Massachusetts. Revere is located about five miles north of downtown Boston. I lived here pretty much the majority of my life. And today I wanted to explore the Little League Park. A park that I not, did not play at, but it was definitely one of the coolest Little League Parks I've ever seen. And today it's left to basically just die overgrown and not much going on with it. This park of course is McMacken Park located at about 201 Winthrop Ave in Revere, Massachusetts. The park is very cool because it's actually a sunken park so on the street level you could actually look down and watch the kids play ball. It had a concession stand, had a batting cage, had plenty of seats and had a cool little outdoor wall. To this day, the plaque still sits there for Sergeant Charles McMacken. Who is Charles McMacken, you may ask? Well, he was born on February 23rd, 1917 in Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts. He died on August 1st, 1943 at the age of 26 in Romania while serving for the United States in World War II. City of Revere broke ground in McMacken Park in 1951. Here's a picture of the ceremonial first dig of the park. It was uh, home to Revere Little League Inc., who still actually owns the property to this day. And in fact, uh, doesn't seem to be doing much of it. I just don't understand how Revere Little League has just abandoned this park and has let it go in the state it's at right now. This park was one of the great Little League Pox. The All-Star Game was held here several times. It was one of two baseball leagues in Revere and arguably probably the better of the two leagues. I did not actually play at this park, but I always wanted to. I thought it would be really, really cool. But unfortunately, it floods. It flooded very bad and would flood all the time, every time it rained. So today we go to the park and I want to check it out because over the last, I would say a couple years, it's been a topic of conversation throughout the city. Um, basically trying to get the park rebuilt and brought to a uh, state of uh, repair that people could actually use it again. Uh, from everything I've read, the city of Revere obviously does not own this. Revere Little League Inc. owns this park. So basically, it's private property and no one really can do anything. Um, the park is actually parceled out. If you look at the assessor's map, it's like seven or eight different parcels of an actual paper street going through. But realistically, I don't think that even would make sense anymore. I think that was probably an old paper street that was probably put in there years ago um, before the two condos behind that. So those two giant brick buildings, well, those are condos. And ever since those have been built, the park had been flooded even more than it did before. Just looking out into the outfield right there, it looks like almost like the field of dreams, the corn stacks of, you know, growing out there. And you can kind of still see where the infield is, where it has not overgrown. From the latest, the last time I remember people playing this park was probably 2012. It could have been later than that. I'm not 100% sure. But the park's pretty much been in this state for at least, well, almost 10 years at this point. And although the signs and everything still look fairly new, the park itself is in disrepair and needs tons of work. Reading some articles put in the newspaper, uh, city councils have been trying to raise money to help fix this park up. But again, the problem they come into is that it is private property. Uh, as a read right here, it looks like the 2013, the field was too wet to play, and it was the last time the park was used. You could search McMacken Park. In fact, if you look at the beginning of this video, when I do the Google Earth to zoom into it, they actually spell McMacken Park incorrectly. But 
it's nice to know that this is a place that was named after a fallen hero. But unfortunately, the memory of him is just basically the name of this hawk that's fallen apart and a little flag that they hang in front of it and really could use some love. As a lover of baseball of all leagues, this would be a really cool park to fix up. There's a Facebook page they set up to save McMack and Park, but it's a Facebook page and it looks like there hasn't been much activity on there. And unfortunately, as I said before, it is a private property, so there's not much the city can do. I guess eventually they could try to buy it off the Reveal Little League, but I just don't want, know why they would hold on to the name Reveal Little League and hold on to a, an organization that really doesn't exist anymore. It kind of just, just there. And if you go to the other park in town, which was a much smaller park, and I don't think it was, it was as nice as when I played there. It's, it's a beautiful park now. They built three fields over in St. Mary's on the other side of Revere, and that's where everyone's playing now. And this park sits here in the middle of a neighborhood in which people could use and walk to. One drawback of this park, though, there isn't very much parking. In fact, all the parking is just on this main drag on uh, Winthrop Ave, and that's about it. And unfortunately, it's probably a reason why this park isn't a priority in the city to get going again, just for the fact that there's really no parking here. But it is still a really cool little league park. If you want to check it out, um, a couple GoFundMe's had been put up to try to get some funding for this. Uh, from an article in 2017, they tried to raise a half a million dollars to try to get this park going. It has a concession stand has bat and cages, two cool dugouts. It would get a lot of its uh, money every year from the advertisers who put their banners and plaques in the outfield wall, which is really cool because it has very kind of reminiscent of old Fenway Park when they used to put the advertisements on the green monster. And in fact, some people call this the little, little Fenway Park. Someday it will, inevitably something will happen to it, whether they knock it down and they build houses there, apartments. Well, they fix it up and turn it into a Little League park again. Uh, to break it down, you would still need some infrastructure on there. The plan is to raise the park uh, about a foot from its uh, current elevation to help alleviate some of the water that goes down there since it is kind of below the street line and water does accumulate there. Other than that and some minor engineering, I believe, um, is it possible that this park actually comes back to life and uh, Rivera again will have a second Little League that actually plays ball and, and it's not just a name. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're ever in the Rivera area, check out the park before it's too late. And if you have any comments, leave them below. I like to hear what people say. If you've played here before, let me know if you played here. Let me know if you know any news or information about this park and what's going to happen to it. I'd love to find this out and hit the like button and subscribe for more baseball videos. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later. Bye.